Kia ora. Okay, so last time we sorted out uh, the fonts and the header and the footer, uh, just some colours, and now we need to get that logo in. So let's go to our styles. So I'm just going to um, give us a bit of gap between that footer because I want that to be my last uh, item. And this time, and just sorry, jumping back to this, we want to go, oh, we've got our div ID header, so hashtag, and the h1 is just an ordinary h1 tag. So, oops, we need to know that when we jump over here, because what we're going to do is something we haven't done yet, but we're going to target the h1 heading within the header ID. Braces. All right, now this uh, this should work. Now for me at the moment, I'm on a networked computer. Oh, let me just tell you what I'm doing. So I've been having some issues, but I'll see what we can do as as what well, as far as troubleshooting goes. So uh, just going back a step. Okay, so I've typed in background image. The next thing I need to type in is URL. And I'm going to tell the web browser where in the root directory to go and look for this image. Now, this is this is us here, this now website, and the images are in here. It's called logo. So within the brackets, I want to type images slash logo dot png. Save. Now it should show up all day today it hasn't and here we go it hasn't again so there's many different ways of doing things we could get the logo in on that html file and that will require require us to make a couple of divs and then style it using flex but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take the style sheet out of the styles folder. Yes, I do want to move it. Okay, and so with that having happened, remember the link would have broken. So I need to go and sort that out. So in the head of the HTML sheet, I just need to sort out the address. Oops. So I'll write it refresh styles dot yes, there it goes there. I'll save that. Then we'll go back. Yep, so we're back. Oh, and here's my logo. So it has shown up. It's repeating. So we need to deal with that. So back onto the style sheet and back into that uh, element selector hashtag header h1. So the next logical thing to do would be to stop that logo repeating. So we're looking for a descriptor saying background repeat. And then we want to say no repeat, thanks. So save that. All right, so that's getting better. Can't see the whole logo, but we'll sort that out. Uh, the next thing we should do is give the space some height. Now I know when I made the logo it was 100 pixels. Oops, pixels. So we'll do that. Lots of opportunity to snip things here as you're working through and working out if things are working or things are not. Throw the margin in of zero. I'm going to put some padding in for now. And then we'll see if I need it. Uh, I'm going to use pixels right at the moment. Another time I might use ENs. But we'll just, uh, I'm just going to have a wee look at what's happened here. Yeah, okay. We're getting better. And what else do we want to do? Uh, the font size. Now, have I designated the font for the H1 heading? I haven't. But I know what it is because I've bought it in, so I just need to go and grab it. It's this Acme. So I'll grab that. Actually, put that there. And 
bit of, of a bit of font size. Let's just say C E ends. See what's happened now. Cool, looking better. Uh, now what we need to do is uh, let's see if we text align and if we center and what happens next. Boom. Cool. All right. Pretty happy with that. So I'll leave it there. We'll come back and look at navigation next. And there'll be a video very much at the end where we'll look at a different way using HTML to get your logo and your um, title in up the top.